Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about beat writers. Sounds interesting. Beat writers. Beat writers identifies a loose knit group of poets and novelists in the second half of the 1950s and early 1960s who shared a set of social attitudes, anti-establishment, anti-political, anti-intellectual, opposed to the prevailing cultural, literary and moral values and in favor of unfettered self-realization and self-expression. Beat writers. So, what is the important word associated with this beat writers? Self-expression. I repeat, beat writers identifies a loose-knit group of poets and novelists in the second half of the 1950s and the early 1960s who shared a set of social attitudes, anti-establishment, anti-political, anti-intellectual, opposed to the prevailing cultural, literary and moral values and in favor of unfettered self-realization and self-expression. The beat writers often performed in coffee houses and other public places to the accompaniment of drums or jazz music. Beat was used to signify both beaten down and beatific. Beatific means many of the beat writers cultivated oppressive culture, cultivated excess ecstatic states by the way of Buddhism, Jewish and Christian mysticism and or drugs that induced visionary experiences. I repeat, beat was used to signify both beaten down. Here beaten down means by the oppressive culture of the time and beatific. Many of the beat writers cultivated ecstatic states by way of Buddhism, sorry, Buddhism, Jewish and Christian mysticism and or drugs that induced visionary experiences. The group included such diverse figures as the poets Allen Ginsberg, Gregory Corso and Lawrence Ferlinghetti and the novelists William Burroughs and Jack Kerouac. Jin, Jinsenberg's howl is a central beat achievement in its breathless, chanted celebration of the down and out and the subculture of drug users, social misfits and compulsive wanderers as well as in representing the derangement of the intellect and the senses affected by sexual abandon, drug hallucinations and religious ecstasies. A representative and influential novel of the movement is Jack Kerouac's On the Road. While the beat movement was short-lived, it left its imprint on the subjects and the forms of many writers of the 1960s and 1970s. Thank you.